Here tonight, some people consider nannies to be a part of the family. But do you really know who you've invited into your home to care for your children? From robbery and extortion to even kidnapping, CBS2 investigates scamming nannies. Here's Hazel Sanchez. I mean, I thought she was a lovely, wonderful person. But after being threatened by the nanny she was once about to hire, this mother of two is now afraid to show her face. I didn't know what she was capable of. <laughs> you assume that because they care for children, they are good people. But a background check showed the potential nanny who she found through a recommendation was actually a felon. She had been convicted of having an illegal firearm. We've had nannies that have blackmailed their families. Holly Flanders, who runs a nanny consulting service, says a growing number of unsavory characters, hoping to capitalize on the immediate and growing need for child care, are passing themselves off as Mary Poppins. Nannies have started to create fake profiles of moms. They use stock photos from Google and recommend themselves as a nanny. When in reality, they may have a rap sheet as long as your arm. There's a lot of people out there that can paint a nice picture. They can sit good for an interview, say all the things you want them to hear. Private investigator Lenny Galino says a complete background check, including criminal, financial, and even driving records, is imperative. If there's any summonses, any accidents, DWIs, it's a, it's a makeup of the whole picture. This woman is not paying attention to the child. She's been on the phone since we got here. Thomas Ruskin's firm will even spy on your nanny. We have seen nannies leaving the children outside while going shopping. More commonly, Ruskin's nanny spies come across what he calls nanny distraction, like being on the phone or talking to other nannies when they should be watching your kids. That's not what you pay a nanny to do. Flanders highly recommends employing devices like a nanny cam and a GPS tracker that attaches to a stroller. They may seem invasive, but they are legal ways of keeping tabs on the whereabouts of your baby. <laughs> on the West Side, Hazel Sanchez, CBS2 News. It should be noted that according to the Department of Justice, a child is more likely to be assaulted by a stranger than a babysitter. Uh.